Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here, back with another episode of the Road to Glory, Road to Galaxy Opal Star videos. And today guys, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be picking up the Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy. We haven't actually got him yet, we've got a bid on this one with 5 minutes to go, 265 thousand mt his price has been fluctuating quite a lot and it's been so frustrating trying to bid on them so one of them about an hour ago went for 215k and then the next like 10 or so i tried to get for 250 and i just kept getting outbidded and now he's up at like 280 but because there's like six of them all ending here at exactly the same time hopefully we're going to be able to get one for a little bit cheaper so if we get outbid on this one we will jump over to one of uh, well we'll jump over to this one I hope to get that, but fingers crossed we should be able to get this one here. Now, I have played up against this Brandon Roy since my last video, and he was incredible. He did not miss. He got his sharpshooter, or like his takeover, like twice or three times in the game. I just could not stop him. He's so quick. He's so good at going inside as well. Um, so yeah, very good player, and I'm very excited to add him to the squad. Of course, he will be taking the place of Michael Jordan. Um, and yeah, fingers crossed, in a couple of minutes we will have him. So, what's been going on in my team? Well, as you can see, we are 7-0, but this isn't the same 7-0 as the other day. I did lose a game, which was so annoying. I didn't actually lose it, but I started the game, and then I had some food delivered. And uh, yeah, I had to kind of quit the game to eat, which is very annoying, because uh, yeah, I was 7-0. But we have jumped straight back into it, and we got ourselves back up to the 7-0, because tomorrow, 21, or just 22 hours... There's going to be a Galaxy Opal George Gervin as the Player of the Month reward, which is fantastic. I'll do a separate video on that, talking about him when we can see the stats tomorrow. But really, really excited for that. It's going to be so good. Getting a Galaxy Opal for free, untradeable, that is going to be awesome. So we might not even need this Brandon Roy come tomorrow. Um, if we do put George Gervin at the shooting guard position, we then have obviously three uh, Galaxy Opals in the starting lineup, two of them being untradeable. That would be awesome. And the other big bit of uh, team news that I am considering is I'm considering selling DeAndre Ayton because I do start Giannis now. Giannis is just so good. He's so quick. His lateral quickness is so much better than DeAndre as well. And uh, as good as DeAndre has been for me, and he has been incredible, I don't think that he's better than David Robinson. Like, no centre is better than David Robinson. And uh, I just don't think he really works out of the power forward position. I think Giannis is more than capable of going up against taller guys. Like, if someone's got Paul Zingis... I think Giannis can more than capably handle him. And uh, yeah, I just don't think there is a place for DeAndre Ayton, which is sad because he is so good. But I just don't think there is a space for him. So let's have a look at how much he's selling for these days. So he's looking for around 70k. But of course, Owen has a three-point shoe on it and a diamond contract. There's not actually that many up. Are there any with a diamond shoe and a diamond contract? It doesn't actually look like it. So... We should be looking at around 100k, I want to say. Um, I wouldn't be happy with anything less than that. So I'll tell you what, we are going to put him up for auction now. So DeAndre Ayton is leaving the squad. It is sad, but I think we just can't get any better than this. David Robinson card, like he's averaging 20 points through five games or five like full games. Uh, we still got that bid on Brandon Roy, which is fantastic. I'm going to put him up for a 100k bid. I'm not going to put a buy now on him because uh, he might even sell for more than 100k. And bear in mind, we bought him... For 80 or 70k, I think. I can't remember how much we paid, but we definitely didn't pay that much for him. So if we can get 100k back for him, that'll be a very nice addition to the squad. And of course, if we do get this brand of Roy, we can sell MJ, sell up a bit more uh, MT as well. So who are we going to put in at the powerful position? I think we'll put Wes Unselled and then move him and AK47. So the bench unit, all untradeable and looking pretty damn strong. But this tie 5 is just ridiculous. I did look at getting the other Giannis, but of course this one is locked into the set, so it would just be a massive waste of MT, because I would like his uh, three-pointer to be a little bit higher, but there's not really much we can do about that. So in terms of actual content, 2K have finally, finally dropped some challenges. So we've got Moments Siakam Finals Game 1 for 20 tokens, which is pretty big, all-star, five-minute quarter length, and it is, you just got to score 32 points with any player and get the W. So super, super easy. Getting 32 points will be an absolute breeze. So uh, yeah, 20 free tokens basically, which is awesome. And then multiplayer challenges. We've now got 10 tokens as a reward for the multiplayer here. Superstar difficulty, which is irrelevant because it's online. But four minute quarters and you've got to win the game and score at least 40 points as a team. Which again, 
Very easy. 10 points per quarter. Absolute doddle. So, uh, yeah, 10 free tokens there. And you get 3,000 MT reward for this one as well, which isn't too bad. So I might do the 3,000 MT. I'm definitely going to do the token one. Definitely going to do this one as well. So we'll get 30 tokens. And come on, are we going to get this Brandon Roy? If we can get him for 265, that is actually really, really clutch. Let's have a look. Come on, fingers crossed. So we got 294 on that first one, 279, a minus thing, a 265. Damn it, this one's at 255. How is there such a big disparity in cards are finishing at exactly the same time? That makes no sense. Fingers crossed, though, we don't get outbid. I'll take it for 265. I don't mind that at all. Like I said, his price has been all over the place. Some of them go up to, like, 300k. And I think people, as they do realise how good this card is, they are going to start bidding on him. And I imagine he will settle at around... 300k he won't go any cheaper than 200k so the least or the most i'm going to lose is like 60k so it's coming down now it's done it is done it is done there we go brandon roy welcome to the squad that is awesome so we get a little bit of money back so 265k we did pay for this guy and there we go we've got another galaxy oval on the squad that looks awesome um, it's annoying that his uh, his emblem isn't the same as David Robinson's. David Robinson's shines a lot brighter. This one's quite dull, which is a bit dead, but it doesn't matter. It's still a Galaxy Opal. Brandon Roy, and he's got eight bad slots down here. Let's see if he needs any of these ones. If he doesn't, then uh, we will go on to 2K MTDB and have a look at what badges he needs. Putback King is pretty irrelevant. So in terms of shoes... Uh, yeah, we will put a diamond shoe on him. He doesn't really need anything, though. Like, all of this is pretty irrelevant if you boost any of that. Ball control gets boosted with a coach, so passing can be boosted a little bit, I guess. Um, and speed with ball, that's pretty much it. So if we can get a speed with ball shoe on him, that is pretty much all we can ask for. There's no point putting a three-point shoe on him or anything like that, because he's already way too good. And we did actually buy a diamond contract for David Robinson. We didn't have that last time, but I did pick that up for 29,000 MT, I believe. Um, just because, like I said, I am not going to be selling him. I don't know if his price has come down. Of course, we picked him up for 300k. Let's have a look. Uh, 300k we picked him up for. A look at that. Damn, he has gone up in price. 400k now with a diamond contract. And, of course, we've got a diamond shoe on this one as well. So that is pretty damn cool. So in terms of badges that Brandon Roy needs, let's go and take a look. So he needs Hustle Rebounder. Like I said the other day, I like having this on every one of my players because... You never know who's going to be under that hoop looking for a rebound and there's no harm having it. He's got enough spaces in his badge slots that he will be able to get absolutely everything. So there we go. That's that sorted. Let's also get Bruiser on him. Absolutely vital badge because if people are running the same players throughout the entire game, you're going to want to be depleting their stamina. If everyone has Bruiser, that's really going to take away from that. Let's see how much these go for. Are Bruiser's really this expensive? They're over 1,000 MT. Are you kidding? Jesus, how, what, how, what, since when is Bruiser an expensive badge? There's no way they're 2k MT each. Are they really? Jesus Christ. What is this? 2500 MT? Okay, we're going to have to pay 2500 MT for Bruiser badges. That is wild. Maybe everyone else is doing what I do and just putting it on all of their players. So we got that on him as well. And then uh, that's pretty much it in terms of badges that he needs. Doesn't really need anything else. Pick and roller, maybe, but well, I don't think I'll ever put him in a pick and roll situation. Put back king, maybe, if he's under the rim and just luckily gets a rebound. Pick and popper, we're never going to use that. That's pretty much it. So, put back king is the only one I'll put on him as well as hustle rebounder and bruiser. And all of the other badges are completely irrelevant for a shooting guard. And he's already got the 18 Hall of Fame badges, which is absolutely fantastic. Super, super excited to use him in my team. Unlimited. We will use him for the last few games that we have got um, in this 12-0 run. Of course, we're just going to be going to 11-0 until tomorrow, and then we will get that final game, and hopefully we will win it first time of asking, and uh, we'll be able to pick up a Galaxy Opal, the first Galaxy Opal from the Player of the Month, which is awesome. Is they really did need to do it? If it was a, if it was a, a Gal Pink Diamond, sorry, I don't think anyone would have bothered playing. I think this was the time that they needed to add a Galaxy Opal to the market. And they have done so, which is fantastic. So let's upgrade these. We'll buy two more putback kings. And then that is going to be all of Brandon Roy's badges. I want to add to him anyway. So he's going to be coming in with 18 Hall of Fame and 8 gold badges, which is fantastic. And as you see, everybody else completely badged out as well. As I always say, badges are super, super important. So 
Galaxy Opal, Brandon Roy, has been added to the squad. We've got three pink, uh, three Galaxy Opals in the starting lineup. I think KD becomes one after the coach boost. We've got four in the starting five. That is incredible. Super, super excited to get some gameplay with Brandon Roy. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.